Yeah, this CCE lesson is part of the MOE OBS Set 3 program. And in this CCE lesson, each one of you will be given a values card. So if I call out the value of resilience, then all those with resilience will change seats. Uh, each of you take one card first. So what I did just now was the belaying practice. We learn how to do the belay actions like the 12 o'clock 6. You need them to slow down, tell them to slow down. We have to let the rope go up so that if someone falls off the wall, then they don't fall all the way to the ground, they just fall a little bit on land on the rope. Hey, belayers, good job. Very interesting to see what they're doing. Don't worry. Um, I did rock climbing about high elements. Uh, I like it very much because uh, I like heights. And while I'm doing that, I can know my friends better. Climbing up the wall is really fun and you can see everything around here all going on from the top. A really nice view. We have 12 people in the group, so we split like 6-6 six, six for pitching, dance and cooking. Also, we are pitching a dance for tonight. It takes a lot of work because you need to put the fly sheets to prevent it from the water going into your tent in case it rains. And you also need to secure the fly sheet properly using the tent packs and we need to dig in the ground. It can be quite troublesome because if you don't get the structure steady, then the whole tent will be very flimsy and it's hard to maintain a structure. I'm cooking dinner with my friends. What's the knife? We are cooking canned food in a mess tin using solid fuel. We might not have what we want, so we just need to overcome what we have. It's really supposed to wait for the water to boil first and then put the milk. I'm packing our personal stuff to go to the campsite for three days to nights. Yeah, it's very difficult because you need to stuff everything into one bag. We must have communication between our teammates, like what to bring and who bring this and bring that. For example, like our tents, our stuff, our food and clothing. You need to share the cooking stuff, you also need to share the ponchos and life jackets. And for our own food, like snacks. But we call it like happy foods. You want to try carrying it? I think there's no way I can carry this. Hopefully it's not heavy, but everybody says it's heavy. Okay, yeah, I cannot stand up. Uh... Yeah, it's going to be a tough journey. I like challenging activities. It's like really trying to put you to the test. They make it really hard for you to strengthen you and toughen you. But you just like find a way to overcome the challenge. Uh, this is the Alpine Rescue. Well, we have to carry a stretcher with our bags on it, so it's very heavy. But we managed the first thing, which is like two platforms and then a straight line. Just have one person here and one person here and then carry the stretcher across. For well, the second one, we only managed to pass one V because it gets too wide for us to carry the stretcher across. Hey, hey, you don't try, okay? One, two. One, two. <laughs> We could have involved more of the people, but it's kind of hard to involve everyone because it's very heavy and not everyone can carry the stretcher. If there's so many people trying to carry it, then it will set the stretcher off balance and then we just fall off the log. I learned that when we have difficulty, we need to like communicate with our fellow teammates and plan what we need to do. Support, support you, support you. Wow. 
we woke up at 5 a.m. and then put down our tents and prepared to leave on kayaks. Can help bring the personal stuff back there. Hiking, it was hard because we had to kayak 13 and a half kilometers. It was quite tiring. Even though it was cooling, but sometimes the tides were against us. So we had to struggle really hard against the tides so that we can actually like move forward. And sometimes if we stop too long, the tides will push us back and will drift backwards and we have to restart the whole part again. And it's also very hard to keep together as a group while kayaking because some people would struggle behind and some people would speed up ahead. So to keep together in the formation that we were given is quite hard. It was actually fun, but we actually hold on to the paddle and the paddle got like water. So we, when we hold on to our foot, we taste the sea water and it's like salty food. We were estimated to reach here about 2.30 p.m. but we had managed to reach here at about 12.55 and it took about only 4 to 5 or 3 to 4 hours. Uh, as I'm one of the CX leader, all the instructions that are given by my instructor, we are supposed to ask them to bring all the backpacks and shift from place to place. While we're on shore, I had to get people to bring up the kayaks onto the shore and have all the kayaks lifted up near the campsite and then empty out the water from the kayaks. It teaches us how to cooperate with people we haven't actually met before. I feel like I'm growing as a person. And then survival skills like how to survive in the wild so that we can help each other throughout the difficult times. Some say that challenges create heroes. And some say that adversity either causes you to break yourself or break records. Bring a change to yourself, bring a change to others, bring a change to the environment around you. Then after the sea expedition, uh, we managed to set our tents up within 15 minutes. And if we did so, the instructor said that we would be rewarded with a surprise. So we did it. So this is your surprise. So hopefully you will enjoy it. Ready? Go. 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 Uh, OBS is tough and exciting. OBS means independence to me. OBS is adventure to me!